Welcome back to YouTube. This is Dander here. Don't know what this title screen is. I was thinking more of a uh, colloquial title screen. Probably when I click A. Or not. It's just gonna. Oh, never mind. This is Amnesia The Dark Descent. This is actually part of the Amnesia Collection, which has two more games in this as well. So I wanted to start. I wanted to try playing Amnesia The Dark Descent. Wow, that is the way the game was designed to be played. Enemies will spot you more easily. Tuner box and oil are hard to come by. Auto save is disabled. Saving your game costs lighter boxes. And losing your sanity will kill you. I'll do normal. Start a new game? Yes. Stuff like this, stuff where I can put a lot of emotion to it. I can't kind of run. Don't forget, some things mustn't be forgotten. The shadow hunting me, I must hide. My name is Daniel, I live in London, and, and uh, Mayfair. What have I done? This is crazy. Don't forget. Don't forget. I must stop him. Focus. My name is... is... I am Daniel. I'm going with this guy. Just forgetting your memory. And that was him collapsing, if I had to guess. Ah, your eyeballs be a bit blurry. Husband has your general widely checked wherever you get stuck. Uh, notes. Notes are not available. Okay. Diaries are not available. Marcos? Follow the lifted trail and find its source. Why wow, that blur effect is uh, Thomas Grip Construction? Hi. Hi. My name is Thomas Grip, and I'm one of the co-founders of Original Games. I worked with engine code, gameplay code, design... Oh, I see. used to like candles and our light source in the environment the other current number oh the current number of tinder boxes sewn in the inventory I think the door is locked I'm not sure though or I need to move or in order to move the door oh I'm an idiot LB to throw the door open or shut depending on the direction you face. This this effect is really rough. Man. Oh, I'm finally standing there semi normally. Oh, never mind. The blur's back. Oh my god. the visual effects. Archives. I 
fragment taste of rose lingers in his mouth. Just twice he fought, just like the ones at the consult in consultant in. I am not even going to try to remember that. So these are just like details in the game. This right? is one of the first level that we created for the game. Yeah, so it's just like the it's just like details in the game. Oh, hit! When you think events will reduce your sanity, increase completing. Oh, can be increased by completing puzzles and making progress. We were all staying in darkness so I dry and turn on lights. I might use turn on or search for light sources. Ah, I see. I don't knock my can I need my I need that lantern. Ooh, nice. Door open. Right, you know, 19th of August, 1839. I wish I could ask how much you remember. I don't know if there will be anything left after I consume this drink. Don't God willing, the name Alexander of Brandenburg still invokes bitter anger in you. If not, this will sound horrible. Go to the inner sanctum, find Alexander, and kill him. His body is old and weak, and yours, young and strong. He will be no match for you. One last thing. A shadow is following you. It's a living nightmare, breaking down reality. I have tried everything, and there is no way to fight back. You need to escape it as long as you can. Redeem us both, Daniel. Descend into the darkness where Alexander waits and murder him. Your former self, Daniel. What we got here? Cool oil. The legend drains oil when turned on to add oil to the Tempers A over the lighter in the inventory. Wow, that is all, all good. Slight headache. Oil journal. Okay. Where am I going now, by the way? Um, memoirs. No memoirs available. Oh, hey. Oh, I'm a moron. Wait, what? I move the right stick in the direction we move the left. I move it down. Down. Go down. Make pies from good part and it's a recover lost sanity. The door slammed shut behind him. He knew he would never again see the old terror of the Barclay Square. Another lone soul in London seemed appropriate somehow. I was struggling with that. I was struggling with that freaking. That stupid freaking lover for me. My mom's not. Ooh, to run? Hold down all T while moving. Nice. Whoa. Alexander, is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking. Come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the. What did you call it? The inner sanctum. My most precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenburg. London. Down we go. Oh, hey. That's 
tough of playing. Can I be torn by hand or tools? Uh, let's bring up. Whoops. I'm fumbling my buttons here. Uh, I'm gonna dump. Some sort of organism tissue blocks the path to the refinery. Can it be dissolved? Ah, we have to dissolve it, I see. Let's try up here. What do we do? Budge, probably because there's boards on it. Flaps to room, not much in there. Getting you down the hallway to the door. Just in a walkway. Here, archives. The other children cheered on him. His name voiced in a strangling, rising pitch, urging him to do it. Am I, am I really doing it? The young girl boy fought and stuck. His, oh, struck his victim with a rock. Oh, other kids are here. Kids are vicious, man. Hey, so we got two rooms. Let's do it to the floor number one. Ooh, there's a, there's a, uh, no. 16th of May, 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Yeah, they'll say things like a curse or you know, traps or, you know, death. I didn't realize it was like dark in this room. But yeah, it's dark enough to make me lose my sanity. Hey, hey! Yes, I know. I'm losing my mind. Give me a hot second, okay? Um, do I have? There you go. I forgot. No, as a matter of fact, we we do not. I can like appear in this room and look for light sources. Nope, there doesn't seem to appear to be. I do see light though. So I think we just like very quickly sprint up there. Ah, there we go. Nope. 17th of May, 1839. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the fourth century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great 
antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. Interesting. Let's look for some stuff. Nothing in there. We got another, we got another tinder box. So would you actually lose a full tinder box to do that? Yeah, because we just picked one up. So we lose a full tinder box to light a candle. Keep the light going so we don't lose any fireballs. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Really search. Doesn't seem to be anything useful in this room. How are we doing on our uh, sanity? A slight headache. We're doing good. We'll open this locked. That's probably will be my mento, uh, right? Mentos. The door leading to the local history room is locked. Is there in our entrance? Don't know. Do the all. Straight down the hallway. This is a mansion or a scene. Excuse me? Can I play piano? No? That's sucks. Alright, we got another room here. I think it was bad, yeah, because I can see that lamp that uh, candles lit down there. So that just goes back the way we came, so let's try going up this way. No. Or not. Uh oh, I'm going to. 17th of May, 1839. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. Well, here we go. It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted, the voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety, and grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. That is interesting. I also need to get out of this room. Here we go.
Oh, here we go again. Much of the castle is old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. We're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us. Especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. Oh, wow. Okay, so my path I just went up is gone. Uh, let's, let's find a way, a new way out of this area. Yeah, because the path just closed. Um, over here. Oh, try to remember to go by hand. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Giant spirit. Oh, another tinder. Tinder box. Tinder box. I'm turning on. You piece of junk. Well, what do I need here? It's not breakable by. Not breakable by hand, so it means I got chuck something. What am I chucking at? It? Oh, does that mean it requires eight? No, it requires one. I don't know what the eight, the X eight thing. Is. I'm not sure what that is. Can I, can I chuck a chair? Maybe it's a chair because this chair's kind of heavy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess where do we go? Yeah, I forgot, you know. Oh, it's in our flashback memory? You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, Daniel. This is some sort of secret door mechanism in the local history room. Well, anyway, that is gonna have to end this first episode here. I have to. I'm gonna end it here. I'm gonna look, comment, and subscribe. Then we'll get you down below. Do we have want to upload more videos just like this one? Or check out my other content. Alright, peace. Out.